We've come along to the cathedral in Peel. With me is the Dean. And uh, very exciting, of course, uh, royal visit number two in this campaign, sort of thing, I call it campaign, because you are looking uh, to keep funding this, well, £10 million odd, isn't it, to, to, to do all sorts of things in this beautiful building. Yes, that's right. And uh, the, we've got kind of different areas where we're uh, developing, and they're developing at different paces. And some things are, are completely invisible that you wouldn't even know we've done. For example, the west window was blowing in and it's been restored so that uh, it, it's now secure for a, hopefully another hundred years. Um, but in terms of the, the five areas, there's uh, the community engagement and, and that's one of our priorities at the moment with the Corrin Hall and development of that. And then uh, the music side of things, developing uh, uh, young choristers and, and choirs and so on. Because you're going to build another, well, have a new building for that, aren't you? Yes, we're hoping to build a song school through mm -hmm. the south transept, which will wrap round and join the other bit of the building at the back. And uh, it'll have accommodation for uh, various uh, staff uh, uh, residentially on the first floor and on the ground floor there'll be a song school, interview rooms and so on. And we're watching a bit of the choruses here because they're rehearsing because um, when Princess Anne is here, yes. uh, she's going to be listening to this and she's also laying a foundation stone, isn't she? Yes, uh, there's a service really of thanksgiving for what's been achieved so far and uh, also encouragement for where we're going. <laughs> and uh, uh, one of the things that she's going to lay is, is the foundation stone of, of a labyrinth on the north side of the cathedral, which will be exact replica of the one in Chartres in northern France. Uh, and it will just by accident happens to fit in the footprint of Russian Abbey uh, Cloister. So the, the cloister around it will be an apple tunnel. And that will be built in the next few months. Well, as I said, she's already been here once when you started this yeah. sort of project. It's, it's 10 million or something, isn't it? You're looking for? Yes, it is. Um, there's, a, there's a kind of a capital development phase and but also a, about sustainability in order that we can have a, a, an asset which is available to the whole of the Isle of Man uh, f into the future uh, then three million of that is about building sustainability. That's why the Isle of Man's city should have it and I think you, how, how are you actually doing the minutes on, on the fundraising? Um, we're Something like 1.2 million, something like oh, that. Right. Since what, September? So. No, it's a bit earlier than yeah, that. Okay. But but uh, but you're happy with the progress? We would always like more. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a big benefactor, or are you doing lots of fundraising? Well, no, it's it. We're we're aiming for major benefactors and also companies and uh, uh, trusts and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah. Okay. So if people want to uh, get involved on the day, uh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Next week. Yes, it w is. Will they be able to come along? Well, we're actually, it's a ticketed event, right. um, and so the, popular then. <laughs> the, the, whole, the whole building is, will be seated out. Mm -hmm. uh, so there won't be any additional tickets available, but uh, we hope we've cast our net quite broadly. And people can see her coming in and out. I think she's doing other things. Right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, wish you well. When should we come back next? When you, what next milestone are you going to be hitting? Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's very difficult to say. Uh, uh, but the, the next thing is is the the battle to to reorder the Corin Hall and uh, put new uses in it and extend it a bit and so on. Yeah.